1979. It was so beautiful, I just couldn't believe it. My friend said I could live in his backyard, and I was up in Westfield. And I set up a tent on the banks of the Mississippi River, and it was just incredibly beautiful. Then I worked hard, and I started in a nursery where I could show by example how you can grow incredible fruit trees on any hillside in Vermont, and I proved that you could. People come to our place because it's very beautiful, and it's very pure, and there's a really good balance between the, the amphibians and the uh, natural insects, and we grow a lot of really good fruit there, and I'm really afraid for myself and for like our 10,000 customers that things will just get thrown off, and it won't be so beautiful, and people can't sit by the river or, or eat fruit off a tree, and I want to have it be really good, and I noticed that, you know, if we make a jar of jam from our fruit, we have to put all kinds of things on it, like it says, you know, the organic label, the kosher label, the local label, and I would think that if someone's using GMOs, they should put that too. Um, I know in Vermont there's a very strong road sign law that we're really known for around the country. If you're from Vermont, oh, you, have the, you don't have road signs everywhere. So we have to go through all these things just to direct people to our business. So how about, I think it would be okay to have it. So you have to <coughs> directing people to, to the food too. And I just want to end with this thought. Most Vermonters don't want to be the basis for a new Aesop's fable. So let's learn from all the characters in Aesop who learned the hard way. 